Welcome learners to this tutorial. Today we are going to talk about dragging. Good. So what is dragging? Uh, dragging is the process of clicking and moving the mouse at the same time. This was a song I taught people in basic one. Dragging is the process of Clicking and moving the mouse at the same time. Let me sing it again. Sound. Dragging is the process of clicking and moving the mouse at the same time. That's a dragging song. You can also say dragging is the process of clicking and holding. Let me read again. Dragging is the process of clicking, holding down the mouse button and moving the mouse pointer to a desired location. So if you want to drag something, you click, hold down, if you want to drag, click, hold down the mouse button and drag to the desired location. So we use dragging to do a lot of things. Right now I'm dragging to highlight location good so you click hold down the left mouse button then you move the mouse to a desired location then voila you have track so dragging is not difficult we use dragging a lot dragging and clicking and double clicking are very very useful on the computer let's discuss part of the mouse that is used to drag the computer mouse like this we have the left mouse button and we have the right mouse button so the left mouse button is also known as the primary button and the right mouse button is also known as the secondary button which part of the mouse therefore is used for dragging good you see this button here is the left button it is used for dragging. Good job. Now, which finger is used to drag? So, which finger is this? This is the left finger, the left index finger. Or we said the index finger. We can customize the mouse. And then those who use left to right can also use their left index finger. Those who use right can also use their right index finger. So the only thing we say here is that the index finger is used to control the, uh, the left mouse pattern, which is used for dragging. So the index finger here is used to control. left button which is used for dragging Good. now what can we use dragging for as we say dragging can be used to move items on the computer so we can drag an item from one point to another let me do that so dragging can be used to move items on the computer so let's see how dragging can be used to move items on the computer let's demonstrate this so we go to the desktop see that items on the desktop you click and you drag Good. i'm using dragging to move items okay yeah, this will not allow me to drag Good. So now I can rearrange. So I can drag and put it in a new location. See, so we use dragging to move item around the computer. Drag and put it on a new place. So you click, you hold down the left mouse button, then you move the mouse to a new location. This is how you drag to a new location. This is how. 
and drag anything at all. The computer breaks down. Click and drag to a new location. This is how you drag. So this is saying dragging can be used to move item on the computer. This one to move item is just like you are copying something. So I can move this item here into a different folder by dragging and then dropping in this folder. Good. You see the item is gone. It's now inside this folder. You can move the item from here and drop it in this folder and then it will not be there again. It's now inside this folder. So we can use dragging to move items on the desktop or on the computer in general. So if you are in a folder, you can use dragging to move items in that folder to another folder. Good. So the second point is in dragging is used to copy items. Now, you know this is an item here. If you want to copy this item to a pen drive or you want to copy this to a pen drive, you just drag it and drop it on the pen drive. And it will copy this file to the pen drive. If you are on a different drive, you can just drag and copy it, put it on that drive. You need to copy it to that drive. It will not move it. But if you are on the same drive like here, this is my computer. If I move it from here to any other folder here, it will just move the folder here to that folder as I did earlier on from here and from here. But if you are on a different drive, like you inserted a pen drive or CD or external hard drive, and you move it from here to that drive, it will not leave this place, but it will copy this file, like using this command copy, it will copy it over here and then paste the copy on that drive, so it will come to on that I will explain this in a different tutorial so you understand better. But now let's just imagine and know that dragging can be used to copy a file from one place to another. Good. Now we have dragging is used to draw object in paint application. Good. So we have paint application. Let's part it there. So we say we can use dragging to draw. So we select our pencil to or we just drag to draw. See, we can use dragging to draw. Good. See that? We can use dragging to draw. Good. So, I'm drawing something. So I'm dragging this time I click and I held down the left mouse button and I'm able to drag over it. I'm able to draw this object here. So it's not difficult. You can also practice it. So try and get a mouse and practice how to drag. So right now I've dragged to draw an apple. So you can also do it. It's fun. So now we all agree with me that we can use dragging to draw objects. That's fine. Now that's it. That's the last point. Now we have used dragging to draw. Which one again is next? Assignment. Now, what is dragging? Write down two uses of dragging. Which finger is used for dragging? Which part of the mouse is used for dragging? Thank you.